ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Just a British Guy. So, where have I been, you've been asking? Well, I'm glad to say that I am okay, but I had to take some time off, and the reason I will put it down to, because I'm not going to go too much into detail on it, is reasons beyond my control. Uh, so, hence the hiatus. Everything on my end has been absolutely hectic for the past two, three weeks. So, yeah, I do apologise that there's no, been no videos out, but I have not been um, near my computer. I mean, I've been on it briefly once or twice, as you probably recall with me being in Skype on uh, Nathan's live stream. But I had to quickly abruptly end the call because I, I had to go back out. But anyway, enough of all that. So, um, yes, we are back with another reaction. This is uh, Season 3, Episode 6, I think I left off on. Yes. The title... Oh, yeah. Uh, reminder that I have fake titles. And the title I have that I have for this one is Awaken Cincinnati. Hmm. Interesting. So... Without further ado, as you already know, let's get reacting in three, two, one, and go. I also have a new pair of headphones, if that's any consolation, which I can hear a lot. Whoa. Yes. Um, as I was saying, let me turn this down a bit. Scoodaloo. Yeah, I have a new pair of headphones, which are head, um, high definition. Wow. And you've got to. <gasps> nice moves. I love how the, um, uh, Rainbow Dash was just very casually gliding with a drink. Yes, as I was saying, sorry about that. Um, yeah, new headphones. Uh, the old ones kind of went bust, and these ones have so much face on them that. Well, at one point I thought the floor was going to give way. <laughs> Which makes listening to these episodes now very interesting. Oh, I've missed this. Right, okay, let's get into it. Oh, chess. And the rainbow dash looks over and is like, nice moves, kid. Wow. Good impersonation. She really said that? I mean, it's like she practically told me she wanted to take me under her wing, teach me everything she knows, and become like my big sister. Wow. I don't know about all that. Yeah, I think you're um it's a really nice compliment and all, but daydreaming. I know, I know. But all that stuff I said could happen, right? Maybe. Sure, absolutely. Just need to find a way to spend some time with her. You know, so she can see more of my awesomeness. Well, uh, Applejack and I are supposed to be camping up at Winsome Falls this weekend. Maybe I could get my big sister on that Rainbow Dash and then you could come too. Really? Um, I have sure. been also looking at the comments as well while I've been well, away. Oh, so I haven't been totally go. ignoring you guys. I'll get Rarity to come too. Rarity loves camping. I despise camping. <laughs> <laughs> I despise camping. Applejack's going with her little sister, but, you know... Don't want to spend time with me. Oh, no. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, what? Of course, How could you know? How could you know? <laughs> roughing it. See? I've got uh, a cup of tea here, so you may hear me slurping. Because I slurp. You packed the bug spray? Yep. You got the canteen? Did you yep. notice that the bug spray you had not, processing. didn't have a picture of a fly on it? Wow. You're going camping. <laughs> Did you remember to pack? Oh, well, let's see who gets the last laugh when you're absolutely desperate to curl your lashes and you realize you didn't bring your eyelash curler. <laughs> well, looks like we're all set yes. now. But what about Rainbow Dash? Is a Rainbow Dash coming? Of course she is, Sugar Pete. She's going to meet us up at our first campsite. She's probably right, gone there, come back, had a drink, and gone back there by the time you lot have even, even considered getting there, to be fair. No. The last thousand times you asked that, the answer was no. This time, it's actually yes. <laughs> Rainbow Dash up there. <laughs> wow. She's 
she just... sister pull that really seriously and the tent has apples on it of course it does looks like they'll be sharing a tent with me huh <laughs> if that's okay with you sure as long as you don't snore you don't snore do you <laughs> no way it's not me never snored a day or <laughs> night in my life then you and i are gonna get <laughs> just fine what the hell How did Sweetie Belle? Don't be a dear uh, and see if you can find some uh, uh, flowers for my bedside vase. Hey, Scootaloo, do be a sweetheart and see if you can gather some firewood. <laughs> 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 Seriously though, can you get us some wood for the fire? <laughs> of course. And yes, vase is the correct pronunciation, yeah, not vase. Everyone get comfortable. She is comfortable. Because I'm about to tell you the best story you ever heard. Is it about the time where Rarity had wings, and then they got ruined, and then you save her from plummeting to her doom? Okay, <laughs> maybe it's the second best story you ever heard. Wow. But probably still the scariest. Rarity went a, uh... You like scary stories, right? <gasps> <clears throat> it all happened on a night just like this one. Really? In the forest. Just like this. Okay. And then the olden pony asked, Who's got my rusty horseshoe? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> <clears throat> Something in my throat. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> Good story. Knew you wouldn't be scared. Will you dump that cart the other day? You're like me. Fearless. Yeah. <laughs> Fearless. <laughs> I think. Don't worry. Rarity is here to keep you safe and sound. <sighs> think it's about time for me to hit the straw. Hit the straw. <laughs> Don't you worry, little sis. There's no olden pony in our camp. Uh, that sure was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> How they were all afraid of the olden pony, <laughs> but not me. <laughs> That's because you're tough. Just like when I was your age. <laughs> I'm hitting the sack. Come in whenever you feel like it. I love camping, by the way. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not saying much. It's nothing. Just my imagination. And that isn't the thundering stomp of the olden pony. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh dear, excuse me. <clears throat> really dry throat. <laughs> At the time of recording this, this is quite early for me in the morning. So, Scootaloo is uh, trying to be brave for Rainbow Dash. I wonder why they didn't invite Pinkie Pie. I, I, I take that statement back. She she is scary. No, I don't, whoa, 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 did I just see Luna? Rainbow Dash. Here you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, sleeping and camping ten. Not to go hand in hand for me. What's that noise? <laughs> is there a bug in here? <sighs> I don't know about you, but I slept like a fillet. Best night ever. Oh God. Because <laughs> we've got a long trek ahead. Totally gonna be worth it when we get to Winsome Falls. 
Yeah, you're not. You lazy son of a... This cart feels like it's getting heavier all the time. I don't care if that cart's as heavy as a pack of mules. If we don't get a move on, it'll be dark before we get to the campsite. <gasps> Sorry. I'll just ride ahead to make sure the path is clear. I have nothing. I have nothing to say to that. It doesn't matter to me. Well, you know, it's for the scary ponies. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I probably haven't brought this up, but what makes her her scooter go? Because if that's an engine, that's a very compact engine. <laughs> and uh, oh 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 no uh oh you dumb goof oh no oh 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 god damn damn oh damn. um. <laughs> really? She's either very, very tired, or... How would you know? <laughs> you won't even wake. Whoa. Ow. No more nervous than a worm and an apple on Saturday making day. What gives, <laughs> Yeah. I just thought I heard something. She's absolutely <laughs> terrified. Are you sure you're okay? Because you seem a little jumpy. Just getting my exercise. You know how important it is to stretch out those hindquarters every so often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, you need a little help? That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, yeah. what are friends for? Yeah. Really? No need for tents tonight, y'all. We'll just take shelter in that cave. Scoot loose face. Perfect for the story I've got for tonight. All we need is a campfire, and we're good to go. <laughs> yep. Uh, of course. I'll be right back with lots of firewood from the deep, dark, not scary at all forest. Thanks. <laughs> I think the voice actress for this is is doing a perfect job in portraying Scoodly. Okay, I can do this. For the count of three, we'll get those branches. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, they're just branches. Here, branches, branches, branches. See, I'm I'm. I'm not actually scared of the dark. Where's that Scootaloo? Ah! <laughs> is it is that really? <laughs> That's it? It's all I could find, because you know, there aren't that many trees around here. You're in a forest. It's all we need. Why don't you sit with Rainbow Dash for a while? <laughs> now, where was I can see that fire <laughs> going out pretty quickly. Hey, I have an idea. How about I tell tonight's story? All right. Just make sure it's a horrible one. <laughs> there once was a really, really nice pony who lived in a bright and sunny land. Where there were rainbows every day and lots and lots of happy friends. And no offense, but it's not a real campfire story unless some ponies shake. <laughs> I've been told that these very woods are haunted <laughs> by the headless horse. The headless horse? Yeah, but only at night. If it doesn't have a head, <laughs> how incarnation does this pony know where it's going? It's headless, not brainless. <laughs> It's headless, not brainless. Yeah, but it can't see where it's going, so it's not going to matter. <laughs> Never. Never. 
Oh, I should throw something. Hang on. Oh, that probably didn't make Don't much worry. noise. You'll be safe with me tonight. In your palace. It's not time for bed yet, is it? Great show, Scootaloo. Uh, uh, but we haven't even sung any campfire songs yet. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Oh my god. And his cool is just bobbing ahead there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she just passes out. Ninety nine buckets of oats on the wall. I know you love to cut a rug, so how about we mess up a cave floor? Well, what what is an idea? I can see who's with me. Uh, maybe tomorrow. She didn't even got her head to the pillow and she fell Seems asleep. Seems like you don't really want to go to sleep tonight. Is there some reason why? <laughs> of course not. I just love camping and hanging out with Rainbow Dash so much that I don't want to waste a single minute with sleep. <sighs> and your body says I was. That's cool and all scoot. <laughs> but this pony needs her shut eye and she needs it now. Now, as I said, I've been camping, but I've never really slept in the cave. And I don't think I actually would want to sleep in a cave now I think about it. You're dreaming. You're dreaming! Wow, she must be terrified. Whoa, whoa! Me. If the headless horse catches me, I'm never gonna be heard from again! I wanna be heard from! <laughs> whoa. Oh, it's the oh oh dear! It's the headless horse. It's all over. <laughs> oh wait, what? No, don't go into a cut skit. Wait, what? Luna? It was Luna. Hello, Luna. Princess Luna, I thought you were the headless horse. You were mistaken. Yes. But I hope not disappointed. You are so, so much better than the Headless Horse. But what are you doing here? Yeah. Shouldn't you be in Canterlot? I am the Princess of the Night. Thus it is my duty to come into your dreams. Oh, yeah. That would be really disturbing. Wait, is this just a dream? But it feels so real. I assure you that you are asleep. But when you wake, the thing that frightens you most will still exist. Uh, the Headless Horse? Mm. Hmm. Is the headless horse really what frightens you the most? It's not, is it? Uh, I'm afraid Rainbow Dash will find out I'm not as tough as she thinks I am. Every pony has fears, Scootaloo. Yeah. Every pony must face them in their own way. But they must be faced, or the nightmares will continue. But if you're the princess of the night, can't you stop the nightmares? Hmm. Yes, because princess a princess uh, in your dreams strain. with creepy yeah. sound effects isn't scary at all. Of course isn't. Rainbow Dash said it lives here in these very woods. Rainbow, Rainbow Dash. It's the wicked Winnie of the Headless Horse! <laughs> uh oh. Scoodaloo's gone. And it would. <laughs> And and it was rainbow that's oh, not it. Horse without a head. That means it doesn't have a mouth. And if it doesn't have a mouth, then it's not a horsey pony kind of horse. But still it feels it's really weird see <laughs> seeing a, a pony talk about another horse, but I don't know, it just seems odd. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> like, seriously? Hello? That happened.
And you don't goof. Oh, sh snap. I hope you can swim. That's a terrible thing to say. I don't know. Oh, uh oh. No. How the hell did you know? <laughs> what? What were you doing out here in the middle of the night? Yeah. Oh, that's so adorable. It is time for you to face your real fears, Toodaloo. <sighs> I'm so, so sorry, Rainbow Dash. <clears throat> I just wanted you to hang out with me and see how cool I was so you take me under your wing, teach me everything you know, and become like my big sister. But then you started telling those spooky stories, and I got scared. I thought I heard the Headless Horse, so I ran out here by myself, and... <laughs> well, I guess you know the rest. Aww. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something, but if you ever tell any pony else, I'm gonna deny it. <laughs> I'm gonna deny I heard it. those stories, I was scared too. You were? Sure. I mean, I got over it because I realized pretty quick that if there was such thing as a headless horse, I could totally take it off. Yeah, totally. Of course. So, you're looking for some pony to take you under their wing, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might be up for something like oh, that. Oh, that is so really? adorable. As long as you don't go falling into any more rivers in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's a deal. How did Rainbow Dash... Uh, she must have woke up and realized Scuddle has gone. Oh, that's pretty. It's a moldy carrot. Oh, if you insist. <laughs> it is so hard. <laughs> they think they can beat the two of us. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Is she she can't fly. Okay. <laughs> what? Now take it and stop all your moans. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> Wink. And yes, I am going to end it there. Wow, well, one episode. Um, yeah, I think that's a great episode. We had a beautiful bit of uh, backstory. Well, not back. Um, character development on RD and Scoodaloo. So, I will be interested to see how that plays out in future episodes. So, as always, I will try and get these episodes out in a bit more timely fashion now I'm back. Uh, so, please bear with me and I will see you next time. Ciao.